you do she not be that see that you are loaded. I brought you do she not be that see that you are loaded. Tell her that every year she jury she wishy. Swear by each other, the Emu for Lara. Did you see not suffer the way he do she not a killer? She Lara or dog. And you want that much, you're young. And I bought me go Bon Uluwa Shinoa Kombi Peters to a very religiously inclined mother and father, which gave him an early head start to be groomed in music as a member of the choir groups of the churches his parents attended. Sir Shinoa Peters today remains the youngest ever Nigerian musician with the record breaking 50 years and broken consistency on the Nigerian music scene, having started at the age of 10. Sir Shino Peters' music surgeon in the Nigeria music scene had gone through very interesting metamorphosis. From the 60s, when he played with friends with a stage name, Uluwa Shino and his 12 fantastic brothers. This awesomely, creatively talented enigma taught himself how to play the piano, the guitar, and other musical instrument, which is why today, Sir Shino Peters remains the most dexterously and ingeniously gifted craftsman on the African music scene. Shino, Shino is a maverick and um, I am particularly happy and excited, thank you very much. I am particularly happy and excited, thank you sir. Because um, once upon a time when, you know, people love juju music it was becoming monotonous and then Shino came and brought vibrations he really said he came and jazzed this up jazzed in a way <laughs> that is unprecedented he came with his original beats because most of the people who play music the best they do is to mime and to copy one person or the other. And the biggest thing that can happen in the music industry is if you're able to create your own beats. When you look at the history and the evolution of, uh, uh, of the music industry, it started with the likes of Tunde Nightingale, Malaya, and Co, and so on and so forth. And somewhere along the line, in the 60s and the early 70s, two people blazed the trail with their own kind of unique beats. It's a bit of about Elsa Obe and Kesonyadi. And for a decade or so, there wasn't really anybody who could do something different. When you look, listen to Admiral Adele Abiodun, you probably think it's uh, Obe that, or Sonny that is uh, singing. When you this is all people, until Shino Peters came and he created his own beat. Before him, of course, the only other beat that we found was the Afro beat, which was created by Fela, and you know it was unique. So Shino then came into the scene with his own Afro Afro <laughs> and it's remained unique to today. And that is why Shino remains one of the greatest stars of his time. I'm particularly excited. Uh, I didn't even know whether he was younger or older because of the way he moves on stage. And I'm particularly excited to you know, find out today that he's joining the Diamond Club. He doesn't look, he doesn't look like that. I just want to, um, uh, on the most just to congratulate you. Thank you, sir. For what you have brought to uh, this, this, um, this, this uh, industry. And I'm particularly happy that it is in your own lifetime. The, the evolution that some of you started has started to, you know. Um, when we were in school, if you go to a party, it is a taboo to hear people dance to a Nigerian music. <laughs> the only <laughs> one that is usually an exception after the party gets to some wee hours is Fela. And otherwise, we're all dancing, Shalama, Tila, the Gang, and all of that. Now, you go to uh, our own kind of parties these days. All the artists that are singing are Nigerian artists. And when you look at the kind of beat that we're hearing, it's a variation of uh, uh, 
SSP is weak. So if you've done something maybe which you may not appreciate. My own prayer is that in your lifetime, you will reap the fruits of your labor. Um, now we hear they say Davido is a billionaire. This, that, that, that. These are the Davidos of our own time. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I'm happy that you are still quite agile. And really, and truly, I'm looking forward seriously to this celebration. Yeah, thank you, and sir. And I hope quite a lot of things will happen. <laughs> so, <once again>, <laughs> <laughs> Sir Shino Peters' missionary journey to discover his true potentials in music took him to the stable of Chief Commander Ibenis Aube, where he honed his musical skills. Later on, he teamed up with Music General Prince Adekunle's band, where he completely gave the band a new face with his masterful display on the guitar. Sir Shino Peters was the main attraction on the guitar in Prince Adekunle's band in those days. When Sir Shino Peters' musical marriage with Shagwa Adekunle after the release of many earth-shaking albums hits the rocks, Sir Shino Peters went solo with his own band named Sir Shino Peters and his international stars. In fact, to tell you the truth, I thought he was 50. <laughs> I didn't think he was that he's up to 60 years of age. 60, 50, wow. Yeah. Because he's been there and he's evergreen and you always think him, of him as this young, you know, <laughs> sharp, snappy. <laughs> you know, when he came and he was, I think he must have been one of, one of, one of the very early um, um, records that he waxed or, yeah, yeah. or you know. Yeah, he, 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 he was like the now. first one and he just took off like wildfire <laughs> and uh, both young and old like the lyrics would dance to Yoshino <laughs> and everybody would go to the floor and come up. The multifacetedly talented Sir Shino Peters' innate potentials came more forcefully to the fore when he shook the Nigerian music scene with a musical bomb named Ace Afro Juju Music Series 1 in 1989. That blockbuster released by CBS Records and produced by Ace producer Laulu Akins raked in double platinum for Sir Shino Peters with his fame hitting an all-time high. Although released 29 years ago, the Ace album, which is a fusion of Juju and Afrobeat, premised strongly on fast percussion beats with a keyboard, saxophone and guitar, still holds sway till today. Shino Peters is I'm one of his fans, and uh, he has been very, very good to, to me as a person and to everybody that comes through me. I wish him a very, very happy birthday, many returns of the day, and more important I wish him good health and all that he wishes himself. Following on the heels of the multiple award winning Ace album was the Almighty Shinomania, which has singles such as Uluwayukwisi, Omombo and Give Our Women a Chance. That was how Sir Shino Peters revolutionized the Juju music scene with excitingly new brand of music, which he called the Afro Juju music. Congratulations. On behalf of Kosan, Chief Tony Okoroji, very creative person, it's my honor and pleasure to present this to you. Congratulations. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, God way, God way, God way, God way. God do not go come down to a human being. Na human being like yourself, na God they use. Thank you, God, for your kindness. Thank you, Tony. You are beautiful. I love you. Bless you. Sir Shino Peters has an unmatchable mastery in the area of music composition, choreography, and stagecraft, in addition to an impeccable dress sense. Indeed, 
Sir Shinno Peters's very admirable dress sense is a great source of inspiration to the musicians of today. With Sir Shinno Peters's style of music, he has succeeded in breaking language and cultural barriers. Today, Sir Shinno Peters has a very huge following in all parts of the world. The admiration for Sir Shinno Peters's music indeed transcends the shores of a land. At 60 and with 50 years on the stage, Sir Shinno Peters still remains a much sought after musician in parts of Africa, Europe, and the United States of America, where he is a regular feature, either performing or receiving awards for his mastery of the art. And um, one of his good fans, because there's no way I did a lot Even when he played in the studio, we are the originator. <laughs> you know, because you know, at that time, we were doing boys. We were doing boys. We were doing boys. Yes, very young. Yeah, you know, you don't sleep. Going to one from one club to the yeah. other. Why you go to Shino to this thing? You go another walk <laughs> to Fadi for me dancing. You go about. But you know he plays. You know people love him because of his guitar. That's where he brought himself out to the public. You see, he's a very good guy and very good composer. Because I remember the first uh, uh, the plate, the music that came out, I designed the clothes that he used Whoa. for me. Wow. Album. Can you remember Mr. Yes. Star? Yes. <laughs> the eighth album. Yes, the yes. wow. eighth album. Wow. 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 I did wow. Wow. You see, for now, Coming sixty. Yeah, coming from the summer. A long way, that's long way. And you see, I'm not blazing. See, it's how very good. It's a sound, uh, good uh, structure. You know, everything is there. So, and uh, you still continue to get this memento for the, the music industry. Here is a hearty toast to Ulua Shino Akombi Peters, Sir Shino Peters, the youngest looking and most agile 60 year old around. Without any doubt, Sir Shino Peters is a pride to Nigeria and an illustrious citizen of the world. Attributes he has acquired through his God given talents. <laughs> Oh, 